Section 1. Why section intros matter. Setting the stage for success. Imagine reading a book with no chapters. It would be like wandering through a maze without any signs to guide you. You'd feel lost, unsure of where you are or where you're going. Confusing, right? Section intros are like mini chapters. They act as signposts, guiding your reader through the journey of your writing. They tell your reader what's coming next. They set expectations and prepare the reader for the information that follows. Good intros make your writing clear. They provide a roadmap, making it easier for readers to navigate through your ideas. Readers can follow your ideas easily. They also create excitement. A well-crafted intro can pique curiosity and make readers eager to dive into the details. Think of them as cliffhangers for each part of your writing. They keep the reader engaged, wanting to know more. Without strong section intros, your writing can feel jumbled. Readers might lose interest. They might struggle to see the connections between your ideas. Intros are key to keeping them engaged. They help maintain a sense of flow and coherence throughout your piece. Just like a good beginning hooks your reader, strong section intros keep them hooked throughout your entire piece. They ensure that your readers stay with you from start to finish, fully understanding and appreciating the journey you are taking them on. Section two, crafting engaging intros, hooks that reel readers in. So how do you write a captivating intro? Start with a hook. A hook is the first sentence or two that grabs your reader's attention and makes them want to read more. It's like casting a fishing line. You need the right bait to catch the fish. This could be a surprising fact, a question, or a bold statement. For example, you might start with an astonishing statistic that shocks your reader, or a provocative question that makes them think. A bold statement can also work wonders, challenging the reader's assumptions right from the start. Keep your intros short and sweet. The goal is to pique interest without overwhelming the reader. A concise, well-crafted introduction sets the stage for the rest of your content. Long, rambling intros bore readers. If you take too long to get to the point, you risk losing their attention. In today's fast-paced world, readers want information quickly and efficiently. Get to the point quickly and keep them interested. Use clear and direct language to convey your main idea. This not only keeps the reader engaged, but also makes your writing more impactful. Use transitions from the previous section. Smooth transitions help maintain the flow of your narrative, making it easier for readers to follow along. They act as bridges, connecting different parts of your content seamlessly. This creates a smooth flow and helps readers follow your train of thought. When your writing flows well, readers are more likely to stay engaged and absorb the information you're presenting. Remember, your section intro is a promise to the reader. It sets expectations for what's to come and assures them that their time will be well spent. It tells them what to expect and makes them want to keep reading. A strong introduction not only hooks the reader, but also guides them through your content, ensuring they stay interested and engaged until the very end. Section three, the power of questions, sparking curiosity and engagement. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They engage your reader and make them think. Use questions in your section intros. Ask questions your readers actually want answered. Don't ask questions just for the sake of asking make them relevant. For example, if you're writing about making bread, you might ask, ever wonder why bread rises? This immediately piques the reader's interest. When you ask a question, make sure the following section answers it. This keeps your writing focused and satisfying. Section four, answers in context, placing them for maximum impact. Once you've posed a question, don't keep the reader in suspense for too long. Provide the answer early in the following section. Connect the answer back to the question. This reinforces the reader's understanding and shows you're addressing their curiosity. Use clear and concise language to answer the question. Avoid jargon or overly complex explanations. Remember, the goal is to provide valuable information in an engaging way. Don't make your readers work too hard to find the answers they seek. Hash hash section five call to action, inspiring readers to take the next step. A call to action encourages your reader to do something. It's a powerful tool that can transform a passive reader into an active participant. Whether it's clicking a link, sharing your content, or leaving a comment, a well-crafted call to action can make all the difference. This could be to leave a comment, 
share the article, or read more. By providing clear instructions, you guide your readers on what to do next, making their experience more interactive and engaging. Place calls to action at the end of a section. This is the strategic point where readers are naturally inclined to pause and consider their next step. By positioning your call to action here, you increase the likelihood of engagement. This is a natural point for readers to pause and engage further. It's a moment where they can reflect on what they've read and decide to take the next step, whether it's exploring more content or interacting with your community. Make your calls to action clear and specific. Ambiguity can lead to inaction, so be direct and precise about what you want your readers to do. Instead of saying learn more, say click here to discover the secrets of sourdough baking. This not only tells them what to do, but also gives them a compelling reason to do it. Calls to action turn passive readers into active participants. They invite readers to become part of a larger conversation, fostering a sense of belonging and community. They encourage interaction and create a sense of community. By engaging with your content, readers feel more connected and invested, which can lead to increased loyalty and ongoing participation. So don't underestimate the power of a well-placed call to action. It can be the key to transforming your reader's experience and building a vibrant, interactive community around your content. Yes, section six, engaging with your audience, surveys and questions for comments. Want feedback? Ask for it. Include surveys or questions at the end of your writing. This shows you value your reader's opinions. Ask open-ended questions to encourage thoughtful responses. Avoid yes, no questions, as they don't provide much insight. For example, instead of asking, did you like this article? Ask what resonated with you most in this article. Use the comments section as a platform for discussion. Respond to comments, answer questions, and foster a sense of community. Hash hash section seven, bringing it all together. Mastering the art of section intros. Mastering section intros is about more than just dividing your writing. It's about guiding your reader, keeping them engaged and encouraging interaction. By using strong hooks, asking thought-provoking questions and providing clear answers, you can create a seamless reading experience. Remember to include calls to action and opportunities for feedback to further engage your audience. By following these tips, you can transform your writing from good to great, leaving your readers informed, entertained and eager for more. Hash hash section eight. Practice makes perfect, honing your skills for greater impact. Like any skill, writing engaging section intros takes practice. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you and your audience. Start by reviewing your previous writing. Identify areas where you can improve your section intros. Read widely and pay attention to how other writers craft their section intros. What techniques do they use? What works well? The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting compelling section intros that captivate your readers. Hash hash section nine, the power of feedback. Seeking input to improve your writing. Don't be afraid to ask for feedback on your writing, especially your section intros. Fresh eyes can often spot areas for improvement. Share your work with trusted friends, colleagues, or writing groups. Ask them for specific feedback on the clarity, engagement, and flow of your section intros. Be open to constructive criticism and use it as an opportunity to grow as a writer. Feedback is invaluable for honing your skills and crafting even more compelling content. Sound. Section 10, Conclusion. Elevating your writing through engaging section intros. In conclusion, mastering the art of writing. Engaging section intros is crucial for captivating your readers and keeping them hooked from beginning to end. By following the tips outlined in this essay, you can transform your writing, making it clearer, more engaging, and more impactful. Remember to practice regularly, seek feedback, and never stop experimenting. With dedication and effort, you can elevate your writing to new heights. Now go forth and write.